Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about backing up a WordPress database on the command line, and I'm going to be using the MySQL dump command. So the first thing we need to do is no, we need to know the location of our config file. I'm going to type cat space forward slash var forward slash www forward slash wp dash config. So this is my config file, and then I'm going to do pipe grep space, and then I'm going to type db in caps. So if I type that, this gives me my database information. I've uh, made a special user and a password for this instance, um, for this tutorial, but this is not my normal username and password. So next what I want to do is type mysql dump space dash u space, and then I want this username. So I'll just copy and paste this, WordPress user. And you may need to use quotes around it if it has special characters and such. Then I'll type space and I'll type dash p and this means use the password but we're not going to type the password here you could type the password here but it's safer just to um, type it in at a prompt so then we'll type space and we'll type the database name so i'll type wordpress paste here okay and now this if i ran this right now it would ask me for a password and it would uh, dump the whole database out to my screen but i want i don't want to do that what i want to do is i want to pipe that to xz so if you don't have xz installed you can type um, like on Ubuntu, you can type uh, sudo app install xz. Uh, on other systems, it's pretty easy to figure out how to do it. So xz is a compression utility like gzip or bzip. And then I want to pipe it through here. So I have xz and then I'll type space dash 9e. So this is like the highest compression. So this will take the longest, but it's the makes the smallest file. And I want to have c here, and that means pass the output to the um, standard out. And then I'll type space and I'll type greater than and then I will type wordpress.sql.xz. So this will dump the database, it will pass it through xz to compress it, and then it will store that in a file called wordpress.sql.xz. So I'll hit enter here, it's asking me for my password, so I'll copy and paste this. I have a very small database now, so it's not gonna take very long, but if you have, if you have a larger database, it could take a while. So I'll type ls-l, and you'll see we have wordpress.sql here. I didn't mention this, I guess I should have. Let me do this again real quick. And it's a good idea to do, say, underscore, and then we'll say 2019.05.20, and then paste in my password. There we go. So now we have a date on this. So if we make multiple versions of this, we know when we did it. And if you're doing multiple in a day, you'd want to add to the time to that too. So that's how you make a dump of the database. So if we were to look at that, um, we can say XZ less, and then the name here, we'll see that it's just SQL here. So this could be passed. If you wanted to say restore this, you could create a database. And I'm not getting into all that in this video, but you could create a database and then you could pass this file into MySQL and load it into that database. So that's that concludes this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.